What up, nerds? Welcome back to Nerds on Lockdown. Sorry about the wait this week in the video. I did get my second COVID shot. It did put me under for a little bit. So we're back today with another episode of Why the Fuck Did I Buy That? Um, and today we have something special for you guys, another console that I'm really excited about. Um, and uh, uh, before we get into it, I want to make sure that you guys know that I, I did open it already and uh, I preloaded some stuff on it. Um, so I can show it off today um, and uh, but I am gonna unbox it for you just as it was so you guys kind of get that experience as well and um, before uh, we do that make sure you guys um, subscribe to the channel and um, you know do all the, the stuff you're supposed to do I guess you know anyways all right uh, let's get into it now and um, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this thing and uh, yeah, I wonder what it is. Let's see. All right, guys. Today we have for you nerds, as you can see, the Atari VCS. Yes, it finally came out. Yes, it actually came out. Um, I bought, I, I pre-ordered this two years ago, man. I had been waiting and waiting and waiting, and it finally came, and I'm super excited for it, and uh, just a lot of nostalgia, and some of you might think, oh, you know, why the hell would you buy that, you know? But, um... Honestly, it's not as bad as what everybody keeps saying it is, and uh, I absolutely love it, and I've been playing it a lot, and uh, it's just a really fun machine. Um, so let's go ahead and open it, and uh, we'll check it out and uh, see what's inside. Um, and it does come in this big plastic bag for you guys, so it's kind of kind of nice, uh, so it doesn't ruin the outside here. Um, and I did get oh, pre-order mine from GameStop, so uh, I only order pre-ordered this one. The uh, the non uh, there there's this version, the the 800 Onyx. There's the 400, which comes with four gigs of RAM. This one has the eight gigs of RAM. And what's nice about these is you can upgrade it to 32 gigs of RAM if you want, um, and you can add a, a bigger hard drive. Um, it does have a slot for an M.2 drive. Um, there is a bundle where you can get the two controllers with it. I think that was, you know, uh, a little too expensive. And I also already have a lot of controllers in my house that will go with this. Um, today I'll be using, while I show you guys gameplay, I'll be using my, uh, uh, I think this is a PDP, uh, no, sorry, a Power A uh, enhanced uh, controller um, that I use for my PC. So that works on it. It's, it's great. It works well. It was just getting to unboxing this thing. As you can see, Atari VCS up on the front. Video computer gaming, gaming, PC streaming, 800 Onyx. They do have one with the wood grain in the front. I wanted the all black one. I just like the look of it a lot better. It does play in 4K, HDMI, and has Wi Fi. Here's the top. Here's the back. It kind of shows you all the stuff. Um. That you would need to know. It has the Atari Vault on it. I do have both editions of that. Um, some games that are featured. It does have a PC mode. You can boot up Ubuntu, Ubuntu whatever that is. Linux and Windows 10. Um, I haven't done any of that yet. Um, I kind of wanted to just keep it as is. As a system for me. Um, you can stream. There's the Apple TV and you know hulu and all the streaming services on there if you want um and uh here's the bottom it does uh come with an amd chip um i think it's an amd resin i don't know which one it is uh let's see here it has the vega 3 which isn't terrible for a small pc this is basically just a pc it's it's a small pc running you know uh emulation and then we take this slip cover off if i can get it off here there we go and then we have this box which i think is fantastic it's got uh it's got asteroids on it i think it's really cool just a cool throwback and we got the atari vcs symbol and the atari symbol here nothing on the back and then when we open it we have Ta-da! The Atari VCS. Now, when I first picked this thing out of here, I thought it was going to be light, you know, kind of cheap, you know, and um, 
I can honestly tell you, it feels great. It's it's heavy. It's got some. It's it's steady. It's it's not cheaply made. Um, it does come out of this little tray here, and we have the rest of the stuff. We have a power cable. We have a. This is the other end of the power cable. It's like the, the plugs into the wall, and then we have an HDMI cord. I have a billion of these, so this just stays in this box. Um, and then let's go ahead and take out the VCS itself and let me close this box back up so we can throw the VCS on top of it and there she is the VCS um it is small it is it is i mean it's not huge by any means but it's just a really nice design it's smaller than what i what i initially saw like on kickstarter um but uh i i, I believe it's 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 just it's really nice looking there's the front you have two 3.0 usb ports in the front i haven't taken the sticker off here um uh on the back here you have your Ethernet uh, port, your HDMI, two more 3.0s, uh, and then your power and your on -off, power switch, your on off button right here. Um, your vents for your fans back here, which is nice. It's got a lot of venting. And here's the back of it, similar to sort of a PC. It's got all your information, what your model is, all that stuff, some rubber feet. And that's pretty much it, guys, for the unboxing of it um i do know that the uh the one with the wood grain up here in front is not red and back it's all black this one is red so i really liked this color i don't know i just it, this color was just cooler to me anyways um so let's go ahead and we're gonna um plug this baby up and we're going to um show you what it's all about okay all right let's go all right guys uh, we're ready for some gameplay. I'm going to turn it on and show you guys exactly how it turns on and all that. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, and uh, yeah, here we go. All right. A little Atari light does turn on in the front. I didn't film that for you guys, but um, just to let you know, a little symbol in the front turns on to let you know. That the system is on. And come on. And then we got a nice little asteroids style intro. Which is pretty pretty dang cool. And then it comes up to uh, this. Now when you first boot it up. It's going to want you to create an account with them. Um, it is free. Uh, it's just to, so you can download games because everything is digital, obviously. So um, it's just so you can download stuff and, and, and things like that. So you're not, you know, uh, so it's, it's not a, you know, they're trying to take your information or anything like that. Uh, one second, I'm going to put headphones on so I can hear the game that we'll be playing today or games I should say and then once you're in here after you've created everything um, it'll go into the uh, main menu now you have to sign in um, with a pin uh, here we go it sets up your dashboard and then you come to the main menu right so these are all the games that i have downloaded i have gun tech free uh the gun tech free demo it's a very hard game that's why i only have the demo so far atari vcs vault 2 siggy a fart for i think it's melusina i it's it's an enjoyable game uh danger scavenger which is a twin stick shooter mystical man Re recharged which is the game that i probably play the most on here i love it um, Atari VSC Vault. This is the game that actually comes with the system uh, for free. So when you get it, none of this will be on here except for the Chrome and the VCS Vault. 
Um, so just know that. And, and the Ant Stream. So the Ant Stream Arcade is similar to Xbox Live or PlayStation Plus, things like that, where you can uh, stream games from uh, their servers. Um, um, and it's older games, so it's uh, older platformers and, and strategy games and Atari, and there's some NES stuff on there and stuff like that. So um, Unsung Warriors Prologue, this is a free game to play. Uh, it's very fun. Um, it has one level. Me and my, my kid went through it. It's a two-player game. And um, I can't wait for the new one, for the actual game to come out. It'll be coming out, I think, around December, they said. Um, fantastic uh, platformer. Really, really fun. Um, and then if we go over to games, this will just show you all the games that you have instead of your home menu. Um, and then um, I have, there is a couple more I want to get, though. Just, you know, like, I'll show you the store. Um, apps. These are your apps you have. Um, so Chrome is Chrome. Search for whatever you want. Um, PC mode. Um, this is where you would go into, see if I went into here. It would tell it would tell me I have to uh, uh, yeah, boot a new operating system. Um, we don't have uh, I don't have that right now. Um, I haven't done any of that. I, I will eventually get that done. I just it, it's something that you just put it on a thumb drive and you boot it from there. Uh, VC, VCS Companion is basically your um, your uh, uh, instruction manual it, it doesn't come with an actual one it, it's all digital um and then here's your store and these are all the games that are available for it and your apps um jetboard just is one that i am uh interested in um most of the games are very cheap um and uh this one looks really good as well um i can show you when you go into a game on the store what it what it looks like what it does you can go down here to screenshots and check out all the screenshots things like that and then you go to your system how much storage you have i do have a thumbstick that's 256 gigs that i have on here so it has a little bit more storage um i just didn't put it in um and then if we go back to games let's, let's start with that um let's go to the one that comes with it so you guys know so VC, VCS Vault. Now this has some of the classic games on it. And uh, <clears throat> it's got arcade games slash, you know, a bunch of, bunch of different ones. I had to turn down my headset here. There we go. Okay. So we have Gravatar. Liberator, Lunar Lander. I mean, I can keep going through them here. Tempest, one of my favorite games of all time. Warlords, Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, Black Widow, Centipede, Crystal Castles, and back to Gravatar. Now, we can... Um... No, let's see. This shows you controls, game, all that stuff if you want to check that out. Um, I keep hitting the wrong button here. Now, you can go to more and check out all the... So those were the Atari games, and these are the, like, the, the actual games that were on the system. There's, you know, there's more in here for you to look at and play. So you guys kind of get the picture. I'm just kind of going through all of these to show you guys. There's a lot. <laughs> like, a lot. Um, they did a good job on making sure that you have a lot of content right out of the box. Um, now, that's if you guys are into this, you know what I mean, kind of thing. You, 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 you know, I, that's up to everybody else. And then you can go into a list of what you would want, you know. Uh, Atari Twist Space. Uh, this is all. Let's view new. Uh, 
arcade racing sports um adventure you know you go to adventure and it'll show you what they have as far as adventure you can go into action it'll show you what you have as far as action so um let's check out i don't know let's let's go with tempest since it's one of my favorites here okay play so you get this cool little border around everything and uh, I'm going to start with Novice because this game is very hard. Yeah, really hard. Really hard. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot harder without the, um, without the joystick, I will say. It's the one thing I'm missing, for sure. Main menu, we'll go out of here. We'll go back to the main menu, Atari VCS Vault 2. Same idea, has a bunch of different Atari games on it. Um, so hopefully you guys will be able to find something that you like. Um, if you're into retro kind of arcade, arcade games. Um, like I said, I, I just have a lot of fun with this. Uh, this There's a lot of sports games in this one, just so you guys know, okay? Um, not all sports games, but a lot of sports games in this. So a lot of racing, a lot of baseball, football, things like that. Then we go to a, uh, Atari 2600, some more of these, right? Adventure, you know, uh, and then we go to the Atari 5200. Breakout, Asteroids, Centipedes. Did I already go through these? Yeah, pretty much. All right. The one thing I was really mad about is they didn't have River Raid on the 5200 here. That was like, I was a little, little, uh, little kind of mad about that, but it's okay. Um, let's try, uh, one of these. 1984, guys. Oh, boy. So, exit start. Trying to start it here. There we go. There we go. So, as you see, plays really well. Uh, maybe one day I will pick up the controller just to make things a little easier on myself. Uh, to to be able to get through the menus and things like that. Um, when they're available, um, I will show you the new missile command. We'll try it, check that out. Game's super hard, super fun, though. I, I really enjoy this. It's fun, fun, fun game. All right, obviously, if you've played missile command, you know what this is about. You gotta destroy the missiles that are coming, coming at you, coming at these buildings, and, um, you upgrade every so often to I'm not good at this game uh, but I do enjoy it uh, every so often you got to make sure that you upgrade so you can get faster and faster and faster right so and you just got to keep getting points to upgrade your points. And this starts getting crazy after a while. And that's that. Oh no. Ah. And then I'll let it kill me. There we go. And then you just keep playing like that. And then what you got to do is hold down them. If you're playing the Xbox, you got to hold down the little Xbox uh, button on your controller. 
Now I do wireless Xbox does does work, but not so well. Um, I I was a little disappointed by that. Um, I'll show you how a platformer works, and first we'll, we'll check out this ant stream, and you guys can see how this kind of works on here. Like I said, it's a service. You get gems if you go in daily, things like that. I don't know. Let's see. New tournament available for Robotron. Um, so they have all different kinds of... I was playing Mortal Kombat not too long ago on it. Smash TV, Space Invaders, Worms. I mean, pretty much everything that was on those other ones, but you get a little bit more here. You get some fighting games, uh, some NES games. Uh... Things like that. Um, I'll show you how well it works. Let's just pop into a game. Let's go into, I don't know. What do I want to go into? What looks good? What looks good today? Let's go into... Let's go into Joe and Mac. Joe and Mac's always a good one, right? Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna play. That tells you what your what your things are on a keypad. You can play on the yeah or on a on a um a controller. All right. Anyways, as you can see, it plays fine. Even over uh, streaming. In fact, I gotta say that their streaming probably plays better than PlayStation now. <laughs> just to, just to kind of put that out there. It's kind of funny. The game is hard. All right, and then you press start and select together to quit the game. And then we're gonna get back out of this thing and we're going to go. It gives you even a scoreboard and everything, which is kind of cool. Um, back to the dashboard. And then I'll show you one more. We'll go through one more. We'll show you a, a platformer. Um, like I said, this one's really fun. Um, and uh, I'll continue from where I was. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and once again don't forget to subscribe guys it, it'd be um i would oh shit i died <laughs> i would really uh in uh i would really appreciate it if you did um it would be a massive help I'm trying to grow this channel and um we'll be back on friday with a another uh another um co-op uh, couch co-op podcast with my wife uh and uh, we'll be playing some more couch co-op games and uh uh yeah we'll see you then and i hope you guys have a good time and i'm gonna keep continue to play this and uh, i'm gonna say say la vie and see you guys later and uh hasta la vista baby or something like that bye guys have a good one stay safe mm -hmm.